gonna go fishing with my dog. Yes. Holy cow. What a beast. Oh. Look at those teeth. The guard. Oh my goodness. Never caught. Oh. Look what I just found. A giant clam. Are you ready? Do you want to go on an adventure today that revolves around fishing and fish? Then go get your bag. Go, 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 get your bag. Go, 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 go. Okay, your bag's in the car. Blanket will do. So today we are not sneaking our dog into one place, but into two. a good adventure. Said your adventure starts here. A1A Adventures. Oh. You excited? We're here. Sneaking this hairless derpy gem into Bass Pro Shop Outdoor World. First step, get him in the bag. Okay, boom, we're in. Love this place. Okay, looking for a few select items before we go fishing today. These are the ticket. This is what we gotta snag, one of these right here. A micro fishing pole. You wanna go see the big fish, Chi Chi. Oh, imagine when Corona gets that big. <laughs> That's just, oh man. That's crazy. That's like a nine or 10 pounder. Oh, looky here. They have a gar. Look at that. A little bass. Look at him. If you were a gar, what would you have to say? Comment down below. I hope we get some fishing supplies that actually catches one of these today. That'd be awesome. Get me out of here. The girth on this gar is incredible. These are some beautiful fish. Lee, you like that. Creative lure check. Guess you can't go wrong with the field mouse. Gonna need a new one of these, the super size one. Put it in. I shark on the wall with my mouth open. Got to be able to weigh the fish. Woo, shout out to Guggen Squad. And we went a little bit lure crazy here. Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you a question? Would you eat this lure, sir? Would you eat this? Would you eat this, sir? Yes. Oh look, they have all this, what are those, snails? I thought it was food. We got the micro, we ain't playing. All right, I guess we're going manual instead of battery powered. See, you do a lot of netting. Oh man. How you doing, Chi Chi? Oh my God. Ooh. Glad that expense done. And your classic live bait vending machine look at that night crawlers shiners whoo all living in this machine gonna go fishing with my dog let's ride we are stacked got a bunch of goods overcasty kind of day that's all right look at this little pole look at this thing it is so tiny that's it stops halfway up perfect for keeping it in the car always have fishing supplies that was a successful sneak. On to the next door. What do we have here? Feed and pet supply time. They do what? <laughs> do they have any? They're all out. I spot Niggy. Look at how big. There's a whole family of them. They're all over here, these Iggy's. Look at how big this guy is. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Oh, they're jumping in the water. These Canadian geese. 
Oh, he's mad. You are so beautiful. I just wanted to say hi real quick. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're here at our next stop, the pet store. Getting salt water. All this beautiful coral. Wish I could bring it all home. You gotta credit these guys for keeping the coral clean. And I do want to bring home a zoopolyp like this. Just a little bit bigger, like this. We also can't forget our live rock that we came here for, but picking the perfect one is always a difficult choice. That'd be nice if we had one with a little hitchhiker on it. Maybe a snail. So we got all our water for our fish tanks. Back home. All right, so let's find this little hitchhiker of a snail. It's like unwrapping a present. Where could you be? On which part of this? There you are, right in the beginning. We didn't have to search too hard for you. You okay? Hmm. You're fine, awesome. And this is the beautiful piece of rock that I chose. A bunch of little crevices and holes and different little caverns where all these little shrimp can hide and peacefully have their own little area. Out with the old. Make sure nothing's under there living on it. Nope. And now to add this big old hefty piece of rock. Make way, shrimp boulder coming through. Move, you don't want to get crushed. Oh, one little shrimp already jumped on it. Perfect. That looks nice. The grass shrimp are all over it, checking it out, swimming around, finding their little new space, or spaces. And next, we're gonna take our new little Zoopala coral frag and go ahead and drip acclimate that. I didn't even know this until now, but the one that we chose, it has a lot of heads, so it definitely looks very healthy, but it is attached to a giant clam. But I don't think the clam's alive because there's a polyp head coming out of it. So I don't know, this will be really interesting to see when it finally opens up. Oh, that's really cool. This thing is so freaky looking. Okay, so we got this little operation setting up and on its way to success. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add this little snail into here. And next for the zoopolyps, attached to the clam shell, right in the middle. So one little piece of the zoopolyp is opened up, and let's hope for in a little bit, all the rest will as well. Any day now. Okay, just kidding. This is going to take a little while. So in the meantime, shrimp, keep it clean. Let's do some fishing and break in some of that equipment that we got today. So we're out here in the middle of the Florida Everglades. So we're going to do some fishing. Stay tuned. I know, there's a gator all the way down there in the middle, just chilling. We're not catching no gator. Yeah, I think when he's done getting on his little bass boat, we'll go ahead and fish over there. That looks like a good spot. Something. What, you did? Yeah. What? Oh, a little Mayan cichlid. Smallest Mayan cichlid on a hook, I think. I've ever caught. I know, they're spiky. They, don't they are spiky. It's like a little piranha, but the opposite. Not the teeth right. on the inside, the teeth on the outside. Yeah. The teeth on the outside. 
Here. Light pressure. Go. Good. Got him? Yep. Cool. That's almost like bass bait. Good catch. Yeah, it is honestly great bass bait, but we have enough. Oh, he's gonna hop right back in the water. He almost did. Grip him. Grip him. Be free. Be free. Well, one scoop of the net over here got us the biggest minnows I think ever. These are the size of mollies. I can't believe this. Holy cow. Corona the bass, the pet bass at home, will be super happy. Now under the bridge is a baby gator all the way over there. Look at him just swimming and just chilling as we're only right here fishing off of the side. That's crazy. Freaking minnows are colossal, man. Talk about an area that's not overfished. AJ, baby gator. AJ baby gator swimming up to the side yeah, i'm sure they're so used to people where'd he go there he is right in the middle of the screen he's only like a foot long that little guy out there so aj rigged up two hooks to this line and put it out in the water and just snagged him a little bluegill that's cool going back we don't need him as bait oh the bass is right there Nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and toss my lure in. We're just approaching bite hour. Bite hour, I've always find is 5 p.m. That starts a good bite hour for the bass. We're at like 4:45 right now, using a sweet new top water. We saw a peacock bass over here before jumped up and tried to get it, so we're kind of still staying in the same spot. Some old school micro fishing, just a line in your hand and a sinker and a hook. Oh, look, see the jewel right there. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Did you have the lucky throw? Oh, you had the lucky throw. <laughs> nice. I got the lucky I throw. Get it on land. Whoa. All right. Get it up. Nice big old chunk of first cast. Sweet. Nice large mouth. Nice. Excellent. It swallowed the whole entire. Uh... Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. That's nice. Oh, yeah, it's got some teeth on there. That's a good size one, too. It's a nice big bass. Ready? Back home you go. As we were just about to move fishing spots, I don't think so. All right, so we almost switched spots two times in a row and this gar came back twice. So that's why we're gonna stay over here, but I'm gonna try to pretend to pack the stuff up once again. We're slowly gonna walk away. And as we do that, I wanna see if the gar comes back because it keeps coming back up to the top, whether it's the same gar or whether it's another gar. That looks like it over there. Oh, that's a turtle. Because as we pack up and start walking away, every single time, something keeps coming back. Look what I just found, a laptop floating right here on the side of the bank. What if this has classified information on it? This is crazy. It's all broken. Somebody must have ditched this whole laptop because it probably has something on it that someone doesn't want anybody else to see. How crazy would that be if we could restore this? I wonder what's on this laptop. That is crazy. I also found some two nifty crates over here, some milk crates that'll be very handy to sit on. And we're gonna move back to our original spot down there. This is all that jumping activity.
And we're also accompanied by this little baby turtle. Let's see if he wants some bread. You want that bread? Are you used to getting fed? I feel like no. Will you eat that? Doesn't want it. It's bread. He goes, he's gonna eat it? No, he swam away from it. What? Something keeps jumping right in that area. Maybe because I'm luring in all the smaller fish with the bread. Holy cow, look what I just caught. Look at that gar, baby. How awesome is that? Look at this guy. Oh, look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Okay, whew. That was a workout, fighting, getting that lure minnow off the guard. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you are strong. You are strong little beast. Look at the teeth. Oh, we gotta get you back in the water. Oh my God, that is so strong. That is so strong. You are so strong. I respect you for your strength. Oh, oh my goodness. Are you ready? I'm gonna dive you back in there, okay? Mr. Gar, you are a pleasure. Oh my goodness, ready? Whew. All right, awesome. Watch that thing swim all day. Look at the life on it. What you got? What you got? What you got? Bring that sucker. Oh Bring him up. Get him up. Come on. Holy cow. What a beast. Move back. Move back. Holy cow. What a beast. Oh, what a beast. What a beast. Beast! Uh. Awesome! Give me five to that. Boom! <laughs> Dude, this is he, this is definitely the biggest the bass biggest you ever caught. Ever caught yep. Wow! Look at that! Dude! Dang! I haven't unhooked a big bass like this in a minute. Dang! Holy cow! Too bad I left the new scale in the car. There you go. Yep, hold them up. Hold them up. Congratulations, big old large mouth. Oh man. If this is as big as Corona's gonna get, this is definitely seven pounds, eight pounds. Holy cow, that is a monster. Get this big beast back into its water. Wow. Go ahead. Whee! Nice. It's all good. Be free. That was amazing. We have such a nice little close friend today, this little gator pal. He decided to come over because he wanted to try out the new stuff that we got from the store, from Bass Pro today. Look at him. Such a beauty. Florida's gems right here. In the heart and in the middle of the Everglades. Something put the propeller on him. He's all the way going over there quick. Quickly, quickly, quickly. What is it? He's gonna get up on land? As we're ready to pack up and go back home, could you imagine if, what if he crawls up on land and makes his way all the way over here, down this path? Uh-oh. Boom, and we are back home from our fishing adventure, and look! And those beauties growing on that clamshell are all out. I did drop a little food in there, a little bit of zooplankton for them and phytoplankton. So I hope they enjoyed that. They obviously did, they came out, right? So I really hope they do well in this tank. These little guys are a beauty. And the snail moved. Look at that little snail. Clean up that little doity rock. And as soon as a little shrimpy went by them, they started to close up. Maybe they'll start to close up again. It's 
So if you like this video and you liked our fishing adventure, catching that gar and catching that big old bass, make sure to smash this like button, subscribe to this channel, all that fun stuff. Drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Follow us on TikTok and Instagram. And as always, A1A Adventure!